to share with you my 2016 setup. Now, I know it's kind of early, but I really wanted to see if it was going to work for me, so I thought I'd get started early and, and see if it did. And if it didn't, then I had time to make some revisions. So initially I bought a, uh, a plum paper planner, 2016, and I had it uh, begin in January, so I had that full, that full year in that one planner. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with plum paper planners, uh, you can, they have a website, you can also find them on Etsy, and I really like them a lot. I think the quality is nice, they are wonderfully customizable, and I, I really like that. For me, that was like the biggest selling point. They have um, different add-ons that you can add to your planner, uh, one of them being a blog section, which I thought would be really useful for me since this um, is specifically going to be for my Art and Whimsy uh, business, um, Etsy, blog posts, stuff like that. So I thought to have that additional add-on that was specifically geared for blogs would be perfect for me. So. Um, when I post this video to my blog, I'll also post a discount code that the people at Plum Paper were nice enough to offer for all of you guys. So if you haven't um, decided what planner you're going to get for 2016, or if you're looking to make a change, or just looking to try something new and are looking for some sort of savings, this is a good opportunity to do that. Okay, so this planner, like I said, um, I started with my Plum Paper planner. And the first step was to uncoil it and prepare it to be put into its new home. Um, so I'll get into that a bit. But just to give you um, a look at its new home, it, I decided to go with this uh, Franklin Planner. Uh, Franklin Planner just came out with this line. It's called Planner Love. And that, there are you know four or maybe five different planners that you can choose from. I selected this one. I was really drawn to the black and white stripes. And um, then my, my mind's eye came out with this awesome line of, um, of, of uh, it's called My Story, this awesome line called My Story that uh, I think coordinates really well. And they have different versions, um, different color themes. The one that I selected is called My Story. And it's one that I used uh, last month in 30, 30 days of lists. So I kind of, I stumbled upon that line then. I thought it was perfect for it. And um, then I saw the planners come out and I was really excited because I already had a bunch of their stuff. So I ordered the planner, some additional planner goodies that coordinated with the line. And I decided that that was gonna be my 2016 business planner setup. So here you can see, um, uh, well, first a little bit about the planner. It's magnetic closure, okay, so so there's this closure here. Um, that works okay for me since it's not a planner that I'm taking out of the house. If it was one that was going to travel with me, I probably wouldn't, you know, I, I would probably choose uh, a different type of closure for my planner, um, or a planner with a different type of closure, I should say. So, being that this one stays at home, it, it works fine for me. Um, I think it's very, you know, it's it's uh, very sturdy. It's nicely constructed. It has these gold rings here, which I like. I like the gold hardware. And I think it just, it, I really like this um, black and white polka dot uh, interior. And I believe this is the same interior that all of their planners have in the Planner Love collection. Um, but the exterior, like I said, I got the white and black, but there is like a teal, there's a gold polka dot. There's, um, I'm not really sure which other ones there are, but they are available on franklinplanner.com. So just a little bit about my setup. Um, so I, I explained that I used um, the planner goodies that they sold on franklinplanner.com that are from my mind's eye. And those are basically some slash pockets, some inserts, um, but what I found that because I was using the plum paper planner and the paper is larger, those those um, those pot, those dividers that are in that line didn't really work for me. They were just too small. So I set them aside. I saved them. I'll probably cut them down and incorporate them into um, one of my personal size planners because they're really pretty. They just didn't fit. So luckily, I had bought plenty of paper from this line like I said, back back uh, when I was doing 30 days of lists and it was 12 by 12 paper. So it worked well, you know, to cut it down and, and make my own um, 
uh, dividers. So I also made a, a dashboard or a couple of dashboards. So um, these are the flags that come with the line. Uh, you can get these uh, from franklinplanner.com. Uh, these are just a couple of clips that I made myself. These are some bows that I bought at my local craft store and made some uh, planner clips out of them. This is a journal card that came from the line that I told you uh, from my mind's eye and I bought these off of scrapbook.com. These were what I was using for my listing. So I still have a few of these left over and I thought they would be great to incorporate into my planner. And I really like, like there's these little glasses. This one says, follow your heart. Here's a mason jar, which is really cute. It's got some really pretty gold foiling and some paper clips. So they're just really pretty colors that really speak to me. And since they were designed by my mind's eye and it's the same line, my story, well, of course they're just gonna, they coordinate very well. So here's another um, clip that I made. And the clips that I'm showing here are available uh, in my Etsy shop, they're clips that I've made. Um, so they are available if you're interested. This is, oh, this is, you know how I talked a bit about um, the dividers that I set aside that were too small for the pages that I was using from the Plum Paper Planner. So I did take, I think four or five of them and I cut the tab off and I laminated them. Here's one of them. And I just turned it into a dashboard. So I put a dashboard before, uh, at the beginning of each month. So I'd have it there. So this one is, it's, this is called, the line is called My Story. So this is one of the dividers and I think it's really pretty. The colors are kind of like a pink and um, a light pink, uh, maybe a, I don't know what that would be, a, corally pink maybe and then a, a yellow goldish color and black I think it's really pretty um, back here is just a little uh, journal card that I had that I thought went well it says if we if we did all the things we were capable of doing we would literally astonish ourselves it's a quote by Thomas Edison and I thought it was nice this is one of the slash pockets that I told you about a bit ago um, this comes in a, a set of, I don't know how many are in the set, maybe five or six, and it's available on franklinplanner.com, and it's also part of a Planner Love collection. So they're pretty, they're functional, great to keep receipts. I put one at the beginning of each month, because again, since it's gonna be a business planner, I think it'll be uh, helpful to have a place to store receipts and things like that that I'll need uh, later at the year or come tax time. So here are some journal cards, again, from the, uh, from the same line. Um, I, and I just punched some holes. I haven't laminated them yet, but I likely will. I find that I like to laminate quite a bit. It makes it sturdy and uh, it, it makes for um, easy and fast little dashboards that I can switch between planners. So this is the larger dashboard that I created out of 12 by 12 paper. Laminated it and put it in here. And another little journal card that I found in that collection that I liked. It just says, write your story. So here we move into what was or really is my plum paper planner. And it, you can see that I've cut it down and modified it to fit into here. So I kept most of the pages that were in that planner and I just um, prepared them. Now I didn't add all of the months in here at one time. I just added the first three months and that was a recommendation that I got from a friend when I was telling her about it and I'm really glad that I got that feedback from her. Being that I change planners and I get bored of things quickly, um, while I love this planner and definitely see myself using it for several months, I don't know that I'm going to want to stay in this planner or any particular planner for an entire 12 months. So um, I just did three months at a time to make sure that it's working for me and um, I can reevaluate it at the end of those three months and, and decide what I'm going to do, whether it's stay in this planner or move into something else. So um, I haven't labeled my sections yet, not something that I will do, but you can see that I just, um, I uncoiled the planner. I trimmed off uh, the the small section that had the holes where it, where it, it went through or threaded through the coils. And then I punched them uh, with a planner from Franklin Covey um, so that it would fit into this particular planner. Uh, the, the, the paper punch 
that I got from Franklin Covey. I ordered from Amazon.com and it was like $22 or $23. It punches really well. I haven't had any issues with it. And um, it, I think you can punch, it says 10 sheets at a time, but I, I think I felt more comfortable doing like six. But it does, uh, it does its job, it does a, a good job. So that might be something you wanna look into. And just to give you an idea, like I said, I only did the first three months. So I did January, January, February, and March. Um, and here is the rest of that plum paper planner. It's uncoiled, it's cut, but it does not have the hole punches here because again, you know, depending on what planner I wanna slide these into at the end of the three months, whether it's this one or a different one, I can make that determination then. So, but here is the planner in its entirety. Um, you know, the, the to-do list, the, the, the weekly vertical layout that I selected. Uh, so it's everything that, you know, it's just, a, it's a plum paper planner in all of its wonderful functionality. I just adapted it to fit into an A5, which is the size of this Franklin planner. So it comes with, um, the plum paper comes with this calendar a year at a glance, which I love. It's nice to be able to just have that. And uh, this is another one of those dividers that I told you that I cut down. I cut the tab off and laminated it to make a dashboard. So this, and we're getting into January here, so you're gonna see the beginning of, this is the setup that I have for each month. So it'll have a dashboard, it'll have a pocket, again, for receipts or anything that I need to keep, uh, keep track of. And here is a divider. Now, I, ha I didn't laminate these dividers because the paper in this line is so thick and so um, such a good quality, I didn't feel the need, but I might, I might go back and do it. And uh, so it's double-sided, which is nice. And then I added a tab here. And I, I get a lot of questions um, when I've posted different things, different uh, art challenges that I used to do. And um, I would have these tabs in my journal and I would get a lot of questions, you know, people asking how I did it and what punch I used. And um, so I'll show you at the end really quick uh, how I got these tabs. You can, if you have a silhouette, you can also um, create them with that but I have a, 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 a tab punch from, I think it's We Are Memory Keepers that does the job really quickly. So here is one of the pages that comes in the plum paper and it's a checklist page and you can adapt it to whatever, whatever use you're gonna use it for. It's double-sided and here's a, a page for January notes. And then here is my month at a glance. And plum paper gives you um, a selection of uh, different layouts for your week, but they all have a month at a glance, which I really like. So here we go into the weekly layout. And this is the weekly layout that I selected. I didn't want mine uh, divided into morning, afternoon, and evening, just because that's not how my mind works. And when I plan things, I just know it needs to be done and I do it whenever I can throughout the day. So. You can see that this is the, the layout that I selected. It also has a weekly check, checklist, a section for notes, and then my top three to-do items for the day, which is nice. So it begins on the first, of course, goes through Sunday, and then here you have a full week that you can see. So there's January. Yeah, it goes through the entire month of January. And then at the end, it gives you another page for January notes, some miscellaneous uh, a paper for miscellaneous notes, a to-do list for the month, which I really like, it's double-sided. And we move into February, and again, um, I cut the tab off of one of those smaller um, dividers that were in that, in that packet of dividers that I bought from Franklin Planner, and laminated it, made a dashboard, I thought it was really cute and another pocket, and another um, divider that I made. So it's it's basically the same setup for February, or it is the same setup for February. I will show you, I had a little boo-boo here, a little mistake, a little oops, and I punched the wrong side. And I really, I've gone through and I, I really cannot figure out how that happened, or if it was the way it was laid out in the original planner, or you know, or if I, 
you know, switch them up somehow. I don't know. It's not that big of a deal. I figure I'll throw some washi along this edge for these few pages and be done with it. Not a big deal. And then we have March, same thing, laminated dashboard, a pocket, an insert, and the, the gold foiling in this line is really pretty. I really like it. Uh, if you get a chance to check this line out, I, I would really recommend it. So we have March, same setup that I've showed you before. And then this section is the blog section. So I have, um, I have a dashboard for any miscellaneous notes that I would like to make about you know things to do on the blog or things to check or maybe something to research. And my divider. And I don't have a pocket here because I have you know pockets throughout the throughout the, throughout the planner. And I have my monthly overview. So it's got sections for websites and inspiration, blog to dos, uh, ideas for posts that I might want to work on, final post schedule. So it gives me a few pages for this. It gives me an area for income and expenses, which is nice. It's good to be able to track that. Uh, post ideas, more monthly overviews. And again, these pages, they come standard in the, um, in the Plum Paper blog add-on, okay? So you have to get the add-on and then these pages come, come with that more post ideas and then I thought this was really cool and I think this is something that I'll use a, a lot so there's monthly blog tasks and then monthly blog stats so if you're interested in tracking you know your Facebook stats Twitter Instagram Pinterest page views unique hits anything like that this is a great place to be able to track that and see your progress some more to-do lists and Oh, and it comes with a few pages uh, for you to um, track advertising and sponsors and giveaways and reviews, which is nice to be able to have that. And then a blog annual planner. So if you want to do, you know, set some goals for yourself throughout the year, where you, you know, the direction that you want your blog to go in, uh, this is a great place to be able to kind of brainstorm that out. And then this last section here, I've set up for my contacts uh, section. So I, in that plum paper planner, I had them add on a section for contacts. And that these are these pages here. So it's good because a lot of times, you know, I, I meet people and network through Instagram or other social media uh, sites and or I go to, you know, workshops or art classes or what have you. And it's nice to have a place to be able to track all that information in case I want to send some happy mail, uh, reach out and just say hello or, you know, get some feedback on something. So uh, the planner also comes with this list of U.S. holidays and then a yearly overview for 2017. One of the other items that I bought from the, the uh, Planner Love Collection on franklinplanner.com are these uh, stickers from My Mind's Eye. And um, it's nice because they already come uh, punched and you just slip them right into your, your binder here. And again, they're the same colors as the line. They're the pink, the light pink, the light pink, the dark pink, the kind of gold foil, and then this other flat matte gold yellow color and a black. So these say, uh, you know, here's some uh, just little notes that you might want to put in your planner. There's goals, to-dos, top five, payday, etc. And then here's some icon stickers uh, that would be good. These would be good for like bullet lists and these are um, just some uh, fun icon stickers that you can add that are also functional and you can add them to your, to your uh, planner pages. And I also bought this um, pad of note paper because I thought it was, it, it, I like the script and it goes with the line and it's already pre-punched so I thought that was pretty handy. And then here is the back. Um, it comes with, uh, the planner comes with this Franklin planner in my mind's eye, planner love label sewn right in. It also has an additional pocket here in case you want to add some more stuff in there, papers, receipts or another pad of paper. I also got these pens. So here's these three pens that come in the collection. And I ordered these also from my mind's, no, from Franklin Planner, franklinplanner.com. 
and um, they write nice. Yeah, they're okay. Um, so, so those are something that you might want to look into. I also bought these three notebooks. This is something that I can just slip right in here or slip into my handbag and carry around with me. But the paper is nice and uh, the covers are nice and sturdy. And again, they're, they coordinate with the rest of the line and the similar colors. So there's that. Um, let's see. This is a package of die cuts that I bought for when I was doing the listing. And again, it's from the same line. So this stuff, you know, a lot of these things like this, uh, the washi tape, you're not going to find this on the Franklin Planner website, but it does coordinate with the line and I found it on uh, scrapbook.com. So you might want to look around for those. Um, the same goes for the journal cards. That's where I got that, uh, the journal cards, and that's where I got my 12 by 12 paper was scrapbooks.com. So um, that is about it. I had hoped initially to do a scope. I wanted to show you guys this on, on Periscope and, you know, kind of take the plunge and try that, but I can't get the setup correct. I just can't figure it out how to get my phone set up at, at a good angle. So if anyone has any suggestions or feedback as far as how they do it and what's been successful for them, I totally welcome that. And please, please share, because I would like to um, experience that and be able to to do a broadcast or a scope and get feedback from you guys live. So that'd be nice. So I said I was going to show you how to do um, tabs, right? So here are some of the tabs that I that I punched. And um, these tabs, you know, you can put them on your inserts uh, like I created here. Here with these, I just added these right on. Um, you can, you know, if you wanted to add them to photos or anything, anything that you're going to stick inside of your planner, you could put them on, you know, the pages of your, of your little notebooks here. Oops. Anything really. So I'm going to show you because I'm going to be totally honest here. When I initially bought this paper punch, I didn't know how to use it. And it, it sat in my bin of paper punches and I had no idea. I thought, how the heck do you use this thing? It doesn't work. So um, it was somebody on on one of the groups on Facebook that uh, I had posted the question and several people had the same question and had, had had the same experience. And somebody thankfully came on and said, oh, uh, there's a YouTube video that shows what you're supposed to do with it. And that solved my problem and many others problems. So I wanna share it with you today. So what you're gonna do is, first of all, here's the paper punch. It's um, the tab, it's this tab punch from We Are Memory Keepers. And it comes with a little sliding plastic door here, which I've taken off because I don't, it, it doesn't do anything for me and it just kind of gets in my way. So I, you know, I chose to take it off. So here's the, the, ta the, the tab punch. It's really sturdy and really well made and you can see here um, it shows you, you know, the, the, the shape that it's going to be, or is it this way that you need to see it? So it shows you the tab. Um, and this, uh, We Are Memory Keepers has several different tabs. They have square ones, or round ones, oval ones. So this is the one that I chose that will give me this shape of, uh, of tab. Okay, so you can do it with any piece of paper. I just took a scrap piece of paper from that um, My Storyline from We Are Memory Keepers, no, no, from uh, uh, My Mind's Eye that I bought from scrapbooks.com. So you, uh, if you have a scoreboard, you can score it down the middle like I did here. If you don't have a scoreboard, um, but you have a bone folder, you can just take your, fold it, take your bone folder and give it a nice crisp edge. Okay. So, hopefully you'll be able to see this. So you, here is your, here's your open side of the paper, and here is your crease. Here we go, here's your crease. And underneath the hole punch, you can see the shape. So you want to slide your paper, sometimes this, okay. So you slide your paper in here, and you position it where you want it. I'm gonna use, I'd like to get these little glasses here see if I can get that punched out now if you can see 
I am pulling the paper down below the cut line for the top of this at the top of this paper punch here. I'm not going to let it cut that line. So I'm pulling my paper below. You know, I'm pulling it down. Okay. And I punch. Punch. And there I go. Here is it's a perfect tab. You can flip it one way if you want it this way or the other way. I like these glasses, so they're fun. Uh, but, you know, you, like I said, you can put it on a divider. You can put it on a photo. Let me grab a journal card here. So if I wanted to put it on this journal card, I could just, uh, well, this one's got a, a die cut, so that might not be a great one, but let's give it a shot. You know, uh, so you could just stick it on here. But like I said, that might not be the best one to use, the best uh, journal card. But here's another one. And I would just use something like this, which is um, Tombow Mini Power Tape, which I love. I just discovered this stuff and I absolutely love it. It's super strong and it works really well. It's glue tape and I got it at uh, my local craft store. So I would just throw some in here and uh, line it up, stick it down, and there you go. There, that's how you would get your tab. So that's how I created the tabs for my um, for my inserts here. Now, sometimes I will use my silhouette and create my tabs that way, but this time I just cut them out. I use my paper my paper trimmer, just cut them out and um, punch some holes. And then I wanted uh, coordinating, um, but still contrasting paper. So that's why I did it the way I did it this time. So that's it. I do thank you very much for watching my video and I hope that you found some of it useful. Um, if you like it, please give it some love by hitting that like button. And if you do not follow me on Instagram, you can find me at Art and Whimsy, uh, Art and Whimsy on Instagram and Twitter. My blog is artandwhimsy.net and please feel free to say hello. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.